Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you about enzymes and basically what I'm going to talk about in this particular video is what are enzymes? Okay, I'm going to, we're going to answer that question. What are enzymes? Let me zoom in a bit. What are enzymes? So I'm not sure if you ever ask yourself this question. Or maybe um, if you open up into your biology textbook, you will see the question where, I mean, the information they provide, the enzymes do this and enzy enzymes do that. But ultimately, the question when we ask what are enzymes, it's very simple. Enzymes are proteins. Okay? Enzymes are proteins. Let me make it bigger. Proteins. That is what they are. Okay? Now, I'm not sure if you know about proteins, but... Let me give you a basic uh, introduction to proteins first before we go on to enzyme. Proteins are made up of amino acids. If you look at the most basic form of protein, it is actually just a chain of different amino acids coming together to form a single stranded chain. So I'm just going to use different colors to represent um, different amino acids. Okay, so maybe a bit more here. Okay, yellow. This will probably remind you of a DNA, which is not, um, it's, I wouldn't say it's similar, but it reminds me of that because even DNA is made up of a strand of um, molecule, a strand of different bases together, coming in different sequence. Okay, so we have our protein. Now, each of these individual color is representing a protein, an, an amino acid. Sorry, so I'm just going to put up all the different colors there. Okay, these are all representing proteins, uh, amino acids. amino acid okay now these amino acids they are bonded together by what is known as a peptide bond a peptide bond so imagine there's a bond here let me just draw a straight line okay and this is known as a peptide bond p e p t i d e a peptide bond okay so each of these different amino acids are held together by a peptide bond and once there are enough amino acids in one chain, it forms a single stranded protein. Now what is a peptide bond? Maybe some people will ask. A peptide bond is actually a bond that links together, let me use this fuchsia over here, okay, it's a bond that links together two groups of the amino acid. I'll just color code it for you. Okay, and then let's choose another color. Let's say um, something green. A lighter shade of green. Okay, so this green, it is the amino group amino group okay and the pink over here that is the carboxyl group okay so the reason why these molecules are known as amino acids is because it has an amino group and the word acid actually comes from the carboxyl group um, if you've learned a bit of organic chemistry or uh, about hydrocarbons and all that, you will uh, probably come. You have probably come across the term carboxylic acid, which is actually an organic acid that has the functional group COOH. So a carboxylic acid will have this functional group, and in an amino acid, they have this carboxyl group as well. That is why I think it's called an amino acid. Okay, so a peptide bond is actually basically just a bond from 
the amino group of one uh, amino acid bonded to the carboxyl group of another amino acid. So when you have one group bonded to another, that's a peptide bond. So it's as simple as that. Okay, just to recap a bit again. Um, enzymes are made up of proteins, and uh, of course it's not this simple single-stranded protein, but uh, they're made up of proteins, and proteins begin as amino acids, as written here, amino acids, and the, re the way how amino acids are bonded together are by peptide bonds. And what are peptide bonds? Peptide bonds are basically just bonds between the amino group of one amino acid to the carboxyl group of another amino acid. So they will form long strands of uh, amino acids and this strand over here is known as a primary protein. I'm not going to go into that but an enzyme is actually a tertiary protein where you have the single strand uh, coiling up and being folded into different shapes and it forms a really complex thing and in fact I can even show you right now let me just go to the web browser and search for enzyme mm, I'm not connected to internet mm -hmm. Let's go to Wikipedia. Well, for many uh, reasons, in many in most cases, Wikipedia not in most cases, but in many cases, Wikipedia is not really a reliable source of information. But for this thing, I'm just going to use use Wikipedia. So this would be an example of how a enzyme would look like. It is a complex complex structure, and basically, what you're seeing here is primary and secondary protein being called up in different ways to form a tertiary protein okay so that is how an enzyme will form and if you look at the, the protein part again maybe there are certain parts certain parts of that uh, protein which are the active site and we'll get the active site a, a bit more later so what are enzymes well the most basic answer is enzyme are proteins okay and I've of course given you a short introduction about what proteins are and how proteins are made and stuff like that why they're called amino acids. So what are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins. Yeah. So I'll in my next video, next video I'm gonna explain about um what enzymes do and how do enzymes uh, do what they do. Okay, so look out for that video.